Hello everyone, I'm Joel with the City of Des Moines Parks and Recreation and today's topic is monarch butterflies. Monarch butterflies are brightly colored, easily recognizable butterflies that many people associate with growing up and learning about insect life cycles. Monarchs are also known for the migration that they make in the fall moving from the USA and Canada south into Mexico. They are beautiful and interesting animals that just about everyone can enjoy. Monarchs are not as common as they once were. Over the last two decades, their population has decreased by about 80%. There are many factors that have added to the decline in the population. Increased use of pesticides and herbicides are only part of the problem. Changes in weather patterns may be causing changes in how the butterflies are able to migrate. Severe weather during migration can cause deaths or make migration even more difficult for the butterflies. Winter storms in Mexico can cause many of the monarchs to freeze and die. Habitat loss is also a very important factor. While in Mexico, the monarchs spend their winter resting in specific areas where they hang in masses from fir trees. These areas are being reduced due to logging of the trees. In North America, there has been a reduction in the amount of milkweed plants that are available to the monarchs. The milkweed plant is vital to the monarch butterfly's life cycle. Within the butterfly's life cycle, there are four stages. The egg, the egg that hatches into a larval, which we call the caterpillar. The caterpillar actually eats the milkweed leaves until it goes into the chrysalis. And from the chrysalis emerges the adult butterfly that we all know and recognize. When an adult female is ready to lay her eggs, she searches for milkweed and lays and attaches her eggs to the milkweed plant. Out of the egg hatches the larval caterpillar, which then stays on the plant and eats the leaves until it's ready to go into the chrysalis stage. This can be a little bit confusing. The adult butterflies drink nectar from flowers, but the larval stage must eat the leaves off of a milkweed plant. The milkweed plant is the host plant for the monarch butterfly. That means it must have this kind of plant to survive. Without this plant, it will die. One way Des Moines Parks and Recreation is helping the monarch butterfly is by planting milkweed plants in our parks and in our gardens. Here in Iowa, the most common milkweed you will see is common milkweed, but there are other species that are here in Iowa. Swamp milkweed grows taller and has a nice purple bloom when it grows. Butterfly milkweed stays shorter and has a nice bright orange blossom when it grows. And common milkweed, which has big oval shaped leaves and big purple blossoms. Keep in mind that milkweed leaves are the food source for the monarch caterpillar. After the caterpillar has eaten its share of milkweed and has grown drastically in size from when it hatched from its egg, it will enter the third phase known as the chrysalis. It does this by hanging upside down and shedding its skin to expose a light green casing that looks completely different than the caterpillar. It will be in the chrysalis phase for about two weeks and then the adult monarch butterfly will emerge, spread its wings and start looking for some nectar to eat and later milkweed where it can place its eggs and start the cycle all over again. Nectar that the adult monarchs drink for their nutrition can come from many different species of flowers. One Iowa native flowers that monarchs love is the meadow blazing star. It is not uncommon to see several monarchs gathered around the blazing star feeding. A common garden flower that supplies nectar late into the fall is the old-fashioned zinnia. It's always good to have a diversity of species planted so that as one type of flower starts to lose their blooms, another will be starting. This helps make sure there is a source of nectar all season long. Des Moines Parks and Recreation is not only helping monarch butterflies by helping provide habitat, we also present educational programs where you, the public, can get involved. Springtime plant grow fly programs educate participants about milkweed and other plants. Fall tagging events highlight the life cycle and the difficult journey monarchs make to Mexico. Tagging monarchs is an ongoing study to learn more about monarchs. In the fall, monarchs are captured as they begin their migration south. Location information and the date is recorded. Special identification stickers are applied to the wings of the monarch, and then they are released to continue on their journey south. When these monarchs arrive in Mexico, they will rest until spring returns and they will begin the migration back north. These monarchs will only travel part of the way north, possibly to Texas, where they will find some milkweed, lay their eggs, and then they will die. Their offspring will travel and disperse across the USA and into Canada over the spring and summer until it is time to migrate south again. It generally takes four generations of the monarchs for each annual cycle. 
The first three generations will only live two to six weeks, but the fourth generation that makes the migration south will survive around seven or eight months. So what can you do to help monarch butterflies? Could be as simple as keeping milkweed in your own yard. Planting a monarch way station means just having a garden that has milkweed for the caterpillars to eat, as well as blooming flowers for the adults to drink the nectar out of. You could also volunteer and attend a milkweed planting event in the spring or one of our tagging events in the fall. For more information about monarch butterflies and events that Parks and Recreation hosts, you can find us at dmparks.org or follow us on social media.